new findings are being released by the Utah Division of Wildlife on mountain lions. And DWR working with Utah State University and BYU to place GPS tracking collars on dozens of cougars across the state. ABC4's Nate Larson has more on what they're finding out. Nate. Yes, yeah, so Emily and Courtney, mountain lions can be spotted here in the foothills and really anywhere across uh, the state of Utah. We've had some sightings even just recently along the Wasatch Front in Cache Valley. And the DWR is saying in a recent story that they've posted or an article that one of their mountain lions that's been collared has likely traveled the furthest of any collared mountain lion uh, on record. And it's been traveled or it's traveled 1,000 miles in 165 days. So uh, mountain lions have been collared since 2018 with these GPS trackers. Uh, so that's new from the radio trackers that they had before. They've had over 60 mountain lions that have been collared by researchers. And they're collaring them to learn about their eating habits, their lifestyles, what impacts their movements, and how they interact with other wildlife like bears and mule deer. So Cougar F66's journey from 2022 really stands out from other cougars. So with this GPS technology, it's the longest journey of any mountain lion so far. And they've also learned a few other unique, new, unique, <laughs> unique things as well. She swam across Flaming Gorge. We normally think that, you know, because they're a feline, they're, they don't want to be in the water. They don't want to be around the water. But again, she is also not a unique collared cat and that we have had at least two others who have also swam across reservoirs. You know, these things have probably happened since the dawn of time, but we're only now uh, realizing they're happening because we have the ability to track these animals on a really fine scale. All right, so the Division of Wildlife uh, also says that cougars don't typically share normal migration habits like other animals like deer or elk. They usually leave on these one-time dispersal, dispersal events and uh, where they go away from home and, and never come back. Live along the foothills, I'm Nate Larson, ABC4 News.